This is just a short video of a few clips which will serve as supporting evidence for the previous video concerning the fallen tower in Miami called One World, One Prayer for the Fallen. In view of the fact that we will be discussing the importance of the symbolism of lightning as it pertains to this event, I would like to encourage you all to go to the website apocalypsis321.com and read the article called Usain Bolt announces his twins names on Father's Day as that article gives even more depth and offers even more supporting evidence which shows the importance of lightning and what or should I say who it symbolizes and is directly related to this study as well. First, let me say thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers and to the servants of righteousness who always give me a heads up on new information that is germane to the subjects we discuss in these videos. The work you guys do is priceless to me, so thank you for that. That being said, let's get into it. In an interview, the mayor of Surfside said the collapse of the Champlain Towers looked like controlled demolition. No, no, it, 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 you know, there's a uh, there's a, a clip that's going around right now, and I can get that to your your person if they need it. But it and I've it, it's in slow motion, and it, it it's almost like a timed demolition. It's it's the most upsetting thing you're going to see, and it is. There's a huge portion of that building in the rear. Of course, that's where the, the biggest part was because that's where the ocean is. And uh, it just all came down. One part came down first, and then the other part stood up there for a few seconds, and then that came down. We, we showed that video last hour on the Faulkner Focus, and I'm going to ask our team here on Outnumber to roll it as soon as we can. It's in slow motion, and it, it, it's almost like a timed demolition. It, it, it's the most upsetting thing the you're going to see. Thing the most gonna upsetting see. thing you're going to see. When we look at the fall of the Twin Towers on 9-11, and other controlled demolitions of buildings in the symmetrical pattern that they all follow when the floors of the buildings collapse upon themselves and then all fall in unison together into one neat pile. You can appreciate the detailed precision and amount of planning that goes into imploding a building and causing it to collapse down into its own footprint. Now ask yourself, when we look at the collapse of the Champlain Towers, is that an accurate description of what we see? Then there's Barry Cohen, who tells the world that he heard the sound of lightning for about 30 seconds and described it as the loudest thing he's ever heard just before the building came down. I don't want to bring in Barry Cohen. You can see the collapse from your apartment and you were able to get out just in time. That's correct. How did you know to get out? Well, we opened up the door. Well, first we heard a crash of lightning. I thought it was lightning. And it went on for 30 seconds, I'd say at least. And it was as loud as you could ever, the loudest thing I've ever heard. Now I know what a, a, a building collapsing sounds like. Could the loud sound of lightning and thunder that Barry Cohen heard actually have been the sound of the crackling of the high velocity explosives used to shatter the reinforced concrete supports of the building or the linear shape charges used to sever the steel supports? Now compare the sound of the demolition charges and the sound of the building falling to lightning and thunder. It 
appears that there is more going on here than the public is being told. But if you have been following Apocalypsis321.com and the rise of the Antichrist and his new world order, you already knew that. Now, when we look at Barry Cohen, the first thing that jumps out to me is that he appears to be an Ashkenazi Jew. Why is this important? Because Barry described what he heard as lightning, and we know that in Hebrew, the word for lightning is Barak, and points us to Barack Obama. Not to mention, the name Barry is also connected to Barack Obama as well, through the name Barry Sotero. The name Cohen means priest in Hebrew, and Barry is wearing the color blue with the six-pointed star or hexagram on it, which is the star of Remphon and represents Saturn or Satan. The name Barry comes from the byname Berg, which means plunderer, which is the same as a thief or raider. Interestingly enough, the name Raider connects to another recent story that was in the news concerning number 94, the Raider for the Lost or Fallen Angels, Carl Nassib, who came out as openly gay on June 21st, the summer solstice, connecting himself to the sun god. The sun also connects to Obama since his symbol is the rising sun. I just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. Um, I really have the best life. I got the best family, friends, and job a guy could ask for. Um, I'm a pretty private person, so I hope you guys know that I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that representation and visibility are so important. Um, I actually hope that like one day, Videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. The name Carl means villain or mean-spirited person who is akin to an indentured servant shall be made a free man. This connects to Independence Day or July 4th as well as the Jubilee for the King of the Bottomless Pit and points to Revelation 9-11 and his release or setting free from the pit. The name Nasib means fate, destiny, and unavoidable prediction. Therefore, we're being told that the king of the bottomless pit will be released or set free. This is fate, an unavoidable prediction. The number 94 or nine plus four is 13, the number of rebellion. The symbol of the Raiders uses the one-eye symbolism, which points to Antichrist, who will plunder the Holy Land. See Daniel chapter 11, verses 24 and 40 through 45. The name Cohen means priest, and the duty of the priest is to offer sacrificial offerings, which in this case is the innocent blood that was shed in this collapse. Crushed is the fear in there, but you keep smiling when you came to us earlier. You just keep saying, I'm so happy to be alive. I'm, I'm always smiling and I'm always happy to be alive. I've had a great life where I've had challenges that I've overcome them uh, many, many times. And um, I, I'm just, uh, a pot, uh, that, that's how I approach everything. Right, Barry. As we discussed previously, Barry is wearing the color blue with the six pointed star or hexagram on it, which is the star of Remphon and represents Saturn or Satan. The number six points to the sixth god and Drake or the dragon, who is Satan. In Kabbalah, the color blue or the blue chakra represents the throat chakra and is said to stimulate the ability to communicate one's deepest truths. What truth is Barry, the priest, conveying to you? That Barak is the fallen sixth god, the lightning which fell from heaven, 
the devil and Satan. The color blue also represents Lucifer. Remember Kanye West's album, Jesus is King, put emphasis on the color blue. That album also connected to Roten Crater, which was a volcano that resembled a keyhole and points to the opening of the bottomless pit. Remember, Kanye performed for the prisoners in jail, which was also a reference to the evil spirits that are bound in chains in the bottomless pit. We also saw Obama represent the Blue Devils at the Duke basketball game. But what's most important is the phrase Messiah himself spoke in Luke 10, 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. In Hebrew, lightning from heaven is Barack Obama. We were also shown this scripture written on the side of Lil Nas X's Satan shoes. Both Lil Nas X and Kar Nassib, the Raider, use the one eye symbolism and both of them are homosexuals. This connects to the Antichrist who is also described as being homosexual in Daniel 11:37, which declares, Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. Mr. Rivers, how are you? You made you made a ton of news officiating the wedding in New York yesterday. Is this like a is this like a new uh, cottage uh, career move for you? I am so excited. Okay. And I should do very well because I don't show. Any. And do you think that the country will see the first the United States will see the first gay president or the first woman well, we president? We already have it with Obama, so let's just. It is clear from the evidence being presented to us that the fallen angel, the lightning from heaven, is none other than Barack Obama who will rule the One World Government, or New World Order, as the One-Eyed Beast, the Antichrist. If you have not given your life to the Most High by accepting the blood sacrifice of the Paschal Lamb that was shed on the cross as a propitiation for the redemption of sins, the time to do so is now. Amen. Shalom. Oh, there's one more thing I have to mention. Thanks to Caregiver for this information. News reports are referring to the search for survivors of this collapse as painstaking. When you break down the word painstaking, you get painsta plus king. Painsta is an anagram for the word tapan, which is a venomous snake. Add the word king and you get king of the venomous snakes, which connects this collapse, this fallen building to the coronavirus, which means to be crowned by the venom of the serpent. You can't make this stuff up. Till next time. Yeah, bless. <laughs>